back at the shrink o -matic. I'm here to help if you need me. <sighs> Look, I didn't hide a mission clue in there, okay? So don't bug me, unless you need some invention points. In that case, have I got a hint for you. Egbert is such an egghead. Once while he was studying his precious specimens, this animal picked him up with its claws and carried him halfway across the country. Egbert didn't even notice. My father had to send him a plane ticket home. We've done this. It's the eagle. Plane ticket? I floated home on my own. I was able to conduct some wind speed experiments. It was the eagle. We've done this before. We don't need to just carefully. We've you done this. That's the right bon voyage, Botley. That's French, you know. Oh my! You're pretty no, yikes. please don't. So, that's just my experience off of it. But keep in mind, I'm a very different pe per people. I'm a very different person than others. And, you know, everyone's different. Me personally, I would have felt much better staying at home until everything was all over. Rather than having to, like... Because see, here's the thing. At one point, they finally did say, like, Okay, well, we all gotta wear our masks while we're working. Which is great. You know, it's keeping us safe. But... Wearing masks at work was just a reminder that things were going on. And it was just a reminder of... There's so many of my friends and family who's home right now and keeping safe. And here I am at work. Oh, fuck. Sorry. So, for me, it actually created a little bit more anxiety being at work. And now I have a new job. And so, what basically happened was, um, just this last Monday, actually. This last Monday, um, my mom had called me. And she was like, hey, my office is hiring. Do you want a job with us? And I actually have worked for her office before when I was younger, when I was like 16 or so. And I absolutely loved it. And I had like let her know like, hey, when I was, you know, when I was actually an adult. Because I had actually taken um, credits to fulfill a job position at her job. So when I was like, hey, if you ever hear of any openings, let me know. And for like the past few years, you know, either I actually liked the place that I was working at or whatever or it was just you know they weren't hiring it never worked out until finally on monday she called and she's just like hey we have an opening do you want it and she told me like the price they, they, she told me that like how much they were paying and i'm just like um yes immediately please so i actually put in my two weeks uh last tuesday so as of not this Friday, not this upcoming Friday, but next Friday, the 15th, I start my new job. And I'll be working closely with my mom. Um, she's not going to be in there all the time. She's only going to be there like two or three times a week or so. But still, I'll be like working close with her, plus with people that I've known for like 20 years. Because um, that's how long my mom has been working at her job. So I've known her co-workers and her boss for like 20 years. Uh-oh. Fantastic! Now put those invention points in the inventory. We've got a lot to do. We should go to the time machine to... I hope you're ready for... Okay. But yeah, so I accepted and my last day is next Thursday. Or next Wednesday, actually. Yep. I really feel like I should just fucking quit right now. Like this, because it's already frozen twice and makes me really, really anxious. I want to get through as much as possible in one recording. Game show, Hollywood Squares. Your mission today is to save. A spinning. All right, those jeans. I can't. Your first clue is a drum. The drum will what? lead you to what your mission is about. In many parts of Africa, there are talking drums because drummers can reproduce oh, in boy. drum beats the actual words of their language. 
Even if you separate drummers by 20 miles, they can still hold a conversation. What kind of instrument is a drum? Mm. You got the beat. Percussion instruments make noise when you beat or shake them. Which percussion instrument makes noise when you shake it? <laughs> Ole! Maracas are hollow gourds with seeds or pebbles inside. You play maracas by shaking them to the beat. Maracas are made for shaking. Which invention was called a bone shaker, even though it wasn't made for shaking? Yes! The first bicycles this. had heavy wooden frames and iron tires. They shook so much when you rode them that people called them bone shakers. Oh, bikes? You can call the bicycle the what? subject of your mission. Hey, I'm psyched. It'll be cool to see what the first bike looked like. Your second clue is a pair of blue jeans. The blue jeans will tell what you the where fuck? the bicycle was invented. Blue jeans were first created back in the 1850s, the days of the California gold rush. The gold miners' work was so difficult, they needed pants that could last a long time without wearing out. The world's first jeans were made from brown canvas. What are blue jeans made from today? Good! Blue jeans are made by the tough cotton cloth named denim. A dye gives denim its blue color. Denim was Fuck so if popular, I know. the inventor of blue jeans became a millionaire. Who invented blue jeans? Oh shit. Um... Oh god, don't judge me for getting this wrong. I have no fucking idea. No! Karl Kapik was a Czechoslovakian writer who invented the word robot. <laughs> the word, not the actual robot, just the word. No! Sylvester Graham invented the Graham Cracker. Seriously? Levi Strauss? That's why it's called Levi Jeans? Excellent! Levi Strauss came to California in search of gold, and he found a gold mine in making jeans. Levi Strauss was a United States immigrant. Where did he come Strauss, from? Strauss, I'm guessing like Germany? A US That's immigrant right. from New York, I Levi can't. Levi Strauss came to California from Germany. <laughs> That's what makes him an immigrant. Germany is in the middle of oh, Europe. Oh boy. The car was invented in Germany. And so was the bicycle. I need a shot. You ace those questions. Now we need to find out who invented bikes. U.S. immigrant from New York. Your third clue is a pretzel. The pretzel will tell you who invented the bicycle. Making pretzels is hard work. First, you boil the dough. Then, you glaze it with egg and salt it. Finally, you stick it in the oven to Doo -doo. bake. Pretzels were first made in Germany and are shaped to look like what? Uh. That's right! You make a pretzel by tying a rope of dough into a loose knot before baking. Which of the following is not tied by a knot? What the fuck is a brake shoe? There's just no stopping you! Brake shoes are not shoes you wear. They're brake pads that stop your bicycle wheels from turning. The first bicycle, however, didn't have any brakes. What German inventor made the first bicycle without brakes? Um, Von Dreis sounds like a German name. Good guess! Karl von Dreis invented a two-wheeled vehicle called a Dreisine. Not only didn't it have brakes, it didn't have pedals either. You made it go by pushing on the ground one leg after another. So Karl von Dreis invented an early version of the bicycle. Goodness knows what he's going to think when Boosterbot shows up. Your fourth clue is a pair of roller skates. 
the roller skates will take you to when the bicycle was invented. Roller skates were first invented when someone put wheels on a pair of shoes. Where would you most likely see people roller skating? Yes, rinks are round or oval shaped arenas with smooth surfaces for roller skating Doo -doo. or ice for ice skating. Which of the following would not occur in a rink? Oh dear. Good. A pedal is a lever that you press with your foot. Cars have pedals. So do pianos. The first bicycle with pedals was invented in 1839, 23 years after the bicycle was first invented. When was the bicycle first invented? 1816. Bike-a-rama! The first bicycle called a Dracene was invented in 1816, a good 23 years before pedals were invented. Now you know the year when your mission will take place. Looking good. We now have the whole shebang. Carl <laughs> von Dres invented the bicycle in Germany in 1816. Goodness knows what Boosterbot's doing to the world's first bike. Let's find out before history gets a flat tire. Before we take this trip back in time, can I just tell you how amazing I think you are? That said, grab the time key and let's move out. Your compliments mean nothing, you piece of garbage. I shouldn't be so mean. I just, I'm really upset with him. <laughs> Ready for another ride? Click on me then. Hold on. I can't wait till this game's over, not gonna lie. Can you imagine a world without bicycles? Yes. Well, we're no. off to Germany to find Carl von Dres as he tests the world's first bicycle. No, bikes are everywhere, so no, I'm just fucking around. Uh-oh, <laughs> Booster Butt's got jet engines in his hands. You don't suppose he's gonna try and... Nah. Ah! <laughs> Booster Butt's about to launch poor Carl Von Dres right into the stratosphere. <laughs> Hit that recall button before the inventor of the bike becomes a shooting star. I do not remember this. This is great. His face. <laughs> Maybe the rockets weren't such a bad idea. What good's a bike before the invention of pedals? Now what? back to the future. Whoa, that was some landing. Press the back button on the utility belt to leave the time machine. We need to put this robot to rest. It does my CPU chip good to know that I've helped bring these guys back where they belong. I have eight more to go. Wait. Seven! Plotly, 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 what am I gonna do with you? Are you trying to make me fail this test? Yes. I guess I'll have to make it a little tougher on you to get the next robot. They still haven't mentioned the extra credit question. Let's take a look at that transquizzer and select another mission. Click on the inventory. I'm just, just fucking sad, dude. All right. We still got places to go and robots to rescue. Click on any of the buttons near the bottom of the transquizzer. See, I don't know what this accomplished just now. Hold on. Ah, been there, done that. Shut up. If you try to trace the invention of the bicycle back to its very beginnings, ooh, you run into a bit of trouble. The ancient Egyptians built two-wheeled contraptions out of wood, but no one knows for sure if they used them as bikes. The Egyptian bikes had no pedals, and neither did the first modern bikes. So, how were the first modern bicycles powered? Who needs pedals when you've got jet engines on your bike? The jet engine bicycle was so totally cool that they invented pedal bikes on purpose because parents could never catch their children at dinner time. <laughs> no, Polly, but that's an interesting guess. The first bike was called a Drezine, after the inventor Baron von Drez. You propelled it by kicking your feet one after another. King George the Fourth of England loved riding one. Ah, eh, been there, done that. Pick a mission we haven't completed. Okay, what's next? 